Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of parent functions. This is standard A.7C in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2016 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got the graph of f of x equals x squared. This is what we call our parent function. So it is just your very most basic quadratic function that you can get. Nothing is really modifying x except for the x squared, that exponent right there. And then what we do with these parent functions is we start modifying them in some way. So the statement about the relationship between the graph of f, which is shown, and then g of x, and look at the difference between g of x and f of x. So f of x equals x squared. So here's my difference. We've got a multiplier in front of that x squared, that 7. So what is going to happen with that? Well, let's, let's take a look, right? So that is going to be g of x equals a x squared, that a is that multiplier we're looking at. If the a is larger than 1, which in this case it is, it's going to narrow the graph. It's going to get skinnier and skinnier. If that a happens to be between 0 and 1, so it's a decimal, then it's going to get wider. And then if that a happens to be less than 0, so it's negative, then it's actually going to reflect across the x-axis. It's going to flip upside down and actually open downward rather than upward. So we're dealing with this one right here, so it looks like it's going to narrow. But you know what? Even if we didn't know those things, we can plot these points, right? So f of x, so let's just plot some of these points here, okay? So x and f of x. Well, you've got your origin, 0 and 0, okay? So if you put in 1, 1 squared is going to be 1. If you put in 2, 2 squared is going to be 4. You put in 3, 3 squared is going to be 9. And that's what we have plotted right here. We've got 1, 1. We've got 2, 4. We've got 3, 9, so forth. And if we wanted to do the negatives, we could do the same thing. So what happens if we do x and g of x. And remember that g of x equals 7x squared. Well, it's still going to go through the origin, right? So 0 is going to still be 0. But look what happens to 1. This is going to be 7 times 1 squared. So 7 times 1, that's just that's going to equal 7. Okay? 2 is going to be off the grid here. 2 is going to be 7 times 2 squared, so that's 7 times 4. It's going to be 28. So we can plot the first one, 1, 7, and then that negative 1 would be right there. But then the next one, 2, is 28 is probably way up there off the, off the grid. So look how skinny and narrow that's going to be. Now, if we want to double check this, let's go ahead and open up our graphing calculator and make sure we're correct. So let's go to our y equals and let's go ahead and just put in the parent function. So let's just say uh, y equals x squared and we'll see that we're going to get just get this very basic graph here. And then let's go down here and let's say let's open open up that 7x squared. Let's plot that g of x and look what happens to that g of x. Look how skinny and narrow it is. And if we wanted to zoom out, you can see that it's going to be very much uh, narrower. It's almost, almost a straight line. Obviously, it's not going to be a straight line. So as this a gets larger than 1, it's going to narrow and narrow and narrow that parabola. So we're going to say that the graph of G is narrower than the graph of F. This right here uh, is not correct. That's what happens when you get uh, a plus C and you add something to the end of it. So your answer is F.